Welcome everyone to a brand new series, Founder's Fortune. I thought it'd be fun just to do a quick little tutorial on this game. I've been playing this on my own and just having a blast with it. So the only thing I like to change here is I like to go to a larger island and then on the advanced settings, leave everything alone. Um, the, the only thing is, is the first time you play it and you really want to get to know the game, you might want to change this aging. Um, but either turn it to slow or off, but we're going to leave it on standard. Just normal, continue. Now we're going to look at some of our people. Now when you're looking at your first two a starter colonists, there's a couple things that you want to look at. Right down here, you want to look at skills. Any skill that you can get, especially mining iron, which is an awesome thing to have, or a cook, or a doctor that can do splints. All those skills um, really help a lot, but you don't need them. You can get your villagers to obtain those skills pretty quick. So personality to me, is a little more important. So for example, this guy's allergic to apples. Beginning game, uh, that's kind of, well, hopefully we find some apple trees and that's kind of what we live off of. So this allergic to apples kind of scares me a little bit. He um, is a little violent, but he controls himself. He's a fast learner, which is a good thing. And I'm actually thinking about maybe keeping this um, Siegfried. Siegfried, we might keep you. Okay, let's look at Barbara over here. She's an animal lover, hates spring, and she's a survivalist. Let's see if we can find somebody who is... Okay, we got fast learner, loves spring. See, this one's a little bit... This is Dimitri. So we would have a Siegfried and Dimitri. Let's see if we can find... Let's just go a little bit... Oh, now that I've moved along, I wish I would have kept that one. Now, this one is a minor too. You're a minor and you're allergic to apples. This one is not allergic to apples. Ooh, I think I'm going to keep you. Katarina? Katarina. Okay, now let's randomize this one. We've got a farmer who can cook at campfires, experienced in battles, an overeater, um, she's also gray hair, so that means she's going to uh, die soon. She won't last very long, which is kind of a drag. Okay, uh, we're going to go ahead and go with this one. It's Siglind, and I think I will just call her Lind. And she's tireless. She loves summer, and she has no profession, but that's okay. So we got a Lind, and we got a Katarina. And so we're going to go ahead and let's start our game. I like them to get to know each other right away. We're going to go ahead and pause the game while we look around our little island here. We are looking for cotton, iron ore. We're also looking out for these tribal villages. And you can click on them. These people are neutral. So if we walk through their camp, they will not attack us. Let's check out these over here. Oh, they are neutral also. I am also looking for some apple trees. And here are some really nice little apple trees right here. And it's kind of out on a little island. Um, cotton is the one thing we need. There's some cotton right here. So if we did it right here, I think we'd be okay. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is a build the very first thing that the game would like us to build, which is a bonfire. This allows people to come into our village and start uh, helping it to grow. Katharina, when you're done, I would like you to go here. While they're coming over here, we're going to look at a few things on this little display for each one of these ladies so the first one is is they need food and if they don't have food they're not going to be happy right now they both want a sleeping spot to sleep in and as soon as that goes green and they get a sleeping spot 
then this thing right here will call a brand new villager into our settlement. Let's go ahead and also the other thing that we're going to need is a basket of raw fruit. And that is where they will come over mm -hmm. and they will get food as they need it for the day. Now, when you first start off the game, this is your supply of all the things that you have. Healing, um, potions, and textiles, crystals, money, all the good stuff that you're going to need. Down here, where they are, this is their wishes. So, said so, uh, Linda... Lindy would like to go ahead and tell a risky joke. She also wants a basket of raw food, which is this right here that we put down. And Sig Lindy, you would like to re reach a relationship with Katarina of a buddy. And you also want a research book. Let's go ahead and get a, their home set up here. And we'll put in a small little house. Little bit more okay, and a wall and some walls and more. a big old door be able to get in there and I wanted to show you guys something while I was here under walls uh, you want to delete a wall you go over here and then you just get on top of it it gives you back the wood too which is really really nice Okay, back here under life, we're going to go ahead and put in our two little sleeping bags. Let's get these ladies working and constructing these two pieces. And then when you get done, all right, wish fulfilled. They both go immediately off to start constructing. I would like you to do that. And I'd like you to make your little sleeping bag. All right, Katarina, please take ownership of that. Mm -hmm. And Sig, the Glinda, take ownership of that. And both of our people just went yep. to green. So if you come over here, you can click on this and you can see that they're both, um, they're both green. And we have a new settler coming in, which is exactly what we need because there is so much to do. Wanna look at our people here. Mm -hmm. And when we pick them, we pick them for specific jobs. And Katarina, we picked you to be our miner. So we're going to make her a level three miner at this point. And this one right here, we're not going to worry about right yet. We're going to need a farmer. But I do not want um, to pick it till I find out what that other person is. So Katarina... You are my little miner. I need you to come over here and start gathering crystal because to explore and and learn how to do farming, we are going to need some crystal. We are also going to need one of these a research book. And that is how we will get more knowledge, explore and learn all kinds of things. So up here, this is our research branches. These are all the things that we can learn. So the very first thing that we're going to want to do is farming. We're going to want to get farming in. Now we're going to need those crystals. As you can see, she is over here. She's kicking that crystal. And when they first start the game, you have no tools. So they will kick everything. They'll kick the trees, the rocks, everything. Until they can get there. Now, we did get a crystal in. And it's going to take us five to... Mm -hmm. uh, explore farming. So I need you, Siglinda, to go ahead and construct that. And then I'm going to have you start analyzing crystals, please. Because we really, really need to get farming in here. She's going to go ahead now, Siglinda. Going to talk to this one. And we're going to ask this person about their traits. Get a little picture into who they are okay still talking i don't have a lot of work experience okay well we're gonna accept you anyway 
And then I want you to come over here and do this. So we have Veronica. She immediately starts going to work on the house. Let's go ahead and get her a bed in here. Veronica, can you come over here and construct that? All right, and take ownership of that. All right, while Veronica is working. Now, as you can see, this this one opened up, and they that means that they want to have some wishes fulfilled. Yeah. Same thing happened here. She wants some wishes, yep. and Katharina wants some wishes. We have two mm -hmm. of these healing cabinets, so we're going to go ahead and put in one of these healing cabinets. Storage, a healing cabinet. We do not have enough wood. So guess what, Veronica? I need to look at your skills. You are going to be my forester. Yep. You're my forester. So that means as soon as you get up, hon, I need you to start coming over here and start cutting down trees. So, Veronica, you are off. First thing in the morning, getting us some logs. Thank you for kicking that tree. Now, your people, every day, will give you a list of the things that have gone well and gone bad for them. So, remember when we asked Veronica about her traits? That kind of made her mad. So, it was negative 10, but we have positive 11, and that affects this bar right here. And you got to be really careful to try to keep that up a little bit. Let's take a look at Zaglinda. Look at, she is a, she has just had a great time. And Katarina, Katarina's doing good, but she did have a bad dream last night. Now, as soon as we can get this uh, heal potion in, that will help uh, our healing potion cabinet in, that will help Veronica be a lot happier. But we need 35 pieces of wood. We have 34. Go ahead and get it. It's under storage right there. Come on, give me my last piece of wood. And we will fulfill your wish. And it looks like farming's getting along. Gonna go ahead and speed this up. All right. Um, yeah. Now these foresters kind of ticked me off in the beginning of the game they constantly want to build mm -hmm. um and it's it's crazy because they quit collecting wood so sometimes you have to keep on them all right we're going to go ahead and pause it here farming was researched we want to go ahead and start getting woodworking going next so we can get a workbench so that we can start working on all of our tools. So let's go ahead and get up here and get our farm crops in. Uh, potatoes are summer and spring. And potatoes are summer and fall all right oh uh, we now have enough wood let's go ahead and get that piece in here get this thing in here okay siglinda's siglinda i need you to be my farmer now you are going to be our designated farmer. So why don't you come on out over here and start gathering some apples and then actually do some construction. Mm -hmm. Veronica, I would like you to come over here and start constructing this. And Katharina, after you get your, after you've eaten, why don't you come over here and also construct this. Let's get these plants going. Let's get our tomatoes in. And um, you know what? Katharina, before you do that, construct that first. And then come over here and construct. All right. Let's take a look. Katharina is pretty happy. Mm -hmm. She needs a wish fulfilled. Let's go ahead and put a loom in here. 
If we can afford it. Hopefully we can afford it. We cannot afford it. That means Veronica, I need you to go back and cut me some more trees. And Katarina, I, I need you to go over there and construct the food, please. Thank you. And we'll get a loom in here, and then we can get... If we get a loom in here for her, and you want one more thing. You want a campfire. You can get a campfire in. Campfire's right here. Campfire's also under farming. And we do not have enough wood. So we really need you getting wood, Veronica. Please. And uh, little Miss Siglinda, I want you to go ahead and start sowing tomatoes. Let Katarina get the rest of this constructed out here. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. So then we get our plants in and they will start working on that. Now, another thing I want to do also in uh, during the spring, summer and fall is to be a collecting of the cotton so that I can start making uh, some cloth and then also to start working on some armor and stuff like that. So I want to go through just a little bit more of this with you guys. And show you what's going to happen here. Um, when you uh, pick your profession for your person. And you get right on top of it. Over here on the right side. Gives you um, the area where you can open up more skills that your player will have and right across here it will tell you how many points you have also wanted to show you this right here they each have also reward points and you can remove their a, a bad trait that they might have but you can also obtain better traits for them so if i but need, none of my people right now have mm -hmm. any points Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. Katarina does. Let's take a look at hers. So I could go ahead and remove that her favorite food is pumpkin stew. I'm not going to do that, though. Um, I One of the things I love having is tireless. That's a great first one to get, I'll tell you. It makes it so that they work a lot harder and sleep a lot less. It's also really important that you get them to talk to each other. And the last tap here is a payday. This is where you can actually go in and pay your people money. Kind of a late game thing, but every once in a while, one of their wishes out here is to get a payday. And you can try and get it done. Let's go ahead and get in, see if we can get in this other wish. Okay, we got that going. And then that was for <laughs> Veronica wants that. So we still need to get in a loom. As soon as we get in a loom, more than likely, that's going to go up to, to a green. And we'll be able to get another villager in. So, yeah. And also, if you click on this, you will see we got one green and two yellow. I think that's a great little start to uh, this a uh, little tutorial you want to make sure as you run if if you're running out of food get over here grab these apple trees okay they'll get they'll sustain you for quite a long time i hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial and you learned a lot and i hope you guys have as much fun as i have had playing this game if you'd like to see me play a uh, series on it i would love to do that so just let me know down in the comments. Please leave a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to the channel. I love having you guys around. We'll see you next time. Take care.